Nelson. I'm with the School of Workforce Development. I wanted to make a quick video just to demonstrate some simulation software. So I'd like to show you two different packages. The first package is called JamSim. One of the reasons that I like JamSim for student demonstrations, uh, one, it's free and it's very easy to download. I've tried and it runs well on the college computers. It's a single executable file can download it anywhere onto a USB stick or the desktop and just run it. It doesn't actually need any installation so there's no permissions required to use it. You get either a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional model. It's kind of like a CAD program. Now I've hidden the grid and I've made this a two-dimensional model. I've already brought in a background of a coffee shop layout. When you execute the model then, so these uh, dark circles just represent customers coming in, placing an order. The order is here with the taker. Then it's passed on to the barista who's now brewing and producing the coffees out to the customer and the customer exits. So then when you have a system like this you can start playing with different serving times, different number of staff, uh, reproduce different times a day, different kind of models of how customers are coming and leaving the the model. So this is JamSim. It's not um, it's not beautiful, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's very very powerful. There's lots of graphics, there's much more than you can do than I've demonstrated here. I've run in a class um, value stream map exercise in my lean classes. Students can within a two-hour class period can build their own models. Um, it's been very very successful, gets the students really engaged um, I'm finding this really effective. The alternate that, that I like is, uh, and I'm not affiliated with either of these organizations or companies, um, is FlexSim. Uh, what I like about it, it's a fully featured application. It does require installing. Again, it installs on um, most systems. And the only difference between the free model and the paid model is the size of the, uh, the free of the paid version is the size of model that you can have with a limited number of objects in your system. So you can't model anything complex, but you can certainly build simple models for with the free version. This is FlexSim. Like I said, it's a bit like a CAD software. I'm going to go this through this very quickly. You need some sort of a source, something to bring product or people or what have you into the system. Then uh, queue is very common uh, where the incoming material waits. Uh, for a processor then, and these are all just the default graphics for the system. You drag them around, move them around in your 3D space. Uh, once the processor is finished operating on the material, it can go to another processor, multiple processors, it could be split, um, all kinds of choices, um, and ultimately will exit the system into a sync. But one of the things that you can do is replace these objects with something that matches whatever your system is. In something like 3D Warehouse, you can do searches and find all kinds of different sorts of machines or equipment. I've downloaded a CNC machine from this uh, 3D Warehouse. And then under the processor itself, I can define all kinds of things. I'll take very, very simple stuff like uh, it takes, say, four seconds to set up the machine and perhaps 20 seconds to process the part. I would also want to change, just very quickly, the source then provides materials coming into the system. In this case, I don't want to bring in boxes, but I'll bring in maybe cylinders to represent some steel or something like that. There's all kinds of um, equations and so on that you can use to describe how often a uh, product comes into the system. Then what we need to do is create a flow path. So I'm going to just select this connection tool, click on source, material comes from the source into the queue, flows into the processor, and exits through the sink. Now I can add in operators, for example. So I have a person come back and uh, double click on the processor again and I need the operator to do a setup or to, 
to do the setup and picking the operator, then um, so my model's pretty much ready to run. So we'll just execute the model. The source will deliver raw material into my system. What's nice about this, there's all kinds of, if I can, if I click on the processor, all sorts of statistics are tracked, the idle percentage time, the percentage processing time. There's also other statistics here that I can show. But you can see my in my model, I have a problem. I've got a building inventory, so the machine is too slow. Now I teach lean, so of course I'd be working at improving the process and speeding up the machine. But let's just take a really um, simple thing. We could um, copy the machine, paste the second one into our model. So my second machine, I need to bring it into play. So again, I'm going to con um, connect my queue, also feeds this machine, and then the machine, once it's finished, parts exit, exit the system. So I'm going to reset my uh, simulation time to zero. I'll rerun. So again, this source starts generating parts, shows the machine is active. Now is a new part. Operator comes over, sets up this machine, processes a part, and sends it to the to the sink back here. Uh, so I've used this kind of software for different sorts of scenarios. One that I did was for a microbrewery. Uh, before making an investment in new equipment, wanted to know how it would affect his output, and his concern was if he brewed faster, could he keep up with the bottling demand? So it was nice to sort of build a simulation. Again, I brought in all 3D graphics matching the equipment that this person had uh, in his microbrewery. And uh, so it was something that we could discuss and watch and um, make adjustments to the model and see how it worked. Let me just give a nice example of uh, a little more complicated model. Again, this is using FlexSim. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, but I do like FlexSim. It has a healthcare module, which might be of interest in some at uh, the college. Uh, we make it possible to account for all the resources in a patient's care process, allowing you to get the most out of the resources you already have available. By evaluating a computer model of your facility, you can account for real-world variability and discover what's really affecting patient waiting time, staff utilization, and capacity. Imagine a tool where you can quickly experiment with layout and operational changes in a risk-free virtual environment to see what works best. So what makes Flexum Healthcare unique? Our exclusive patient track technology can model complex patient and staff behavior using easily configurable activities and without resorting to computer code. This, along with our extensive object library and stunning built-in visuals, makes for fast, beautiful, and accurate healthcare models. A little bit of a sales pitch there, sorry about that. So very quickly, one of the things I wanted to show you is one of the ways I've used this in, um, in my own class. So it happened to be the healthcare module, although it's still a lean class. And one of the things we teach in lean is uh, the spaghetti diagram, which is about placement of um, tools and equipment and the flow path that people have to travel through in a working environment. And typically you would go out to a factory or something like that, you would watch people work, you'd have a clipboard with a floor plan and you'd map out on this clipboard and watch their travel. And of course in a class it's very, very difficult to do. So I found simulation is a great way to give the students a kind of a real world practice at doing this and um, and it's fun it's collaborative it's kind of makes a fun teamwork and, and great discussion to see it live and to be able to manipulate the model so I uh, have run this with my students and with their explicit permission um, just recorded a short video uh, so you can see how this works so again this is a healthcare model of a walk-in clinic and uh, Patients are met by registered nurses who then refer them to a doctor uh, who goes off to a 
table and I have the students just tracking their paths, where they're traveling. Um, and what's nice is students that can have a discussion about how to optimize the model. We can brainstorm ideas. Students can go through the exercise and see for themselves the benefit of moving things around. Uh, so lots of opportunities to use simulation software, I think, in classes. And um, hopefully you get to take advantage of them yourself. So with that, thanks for watching. Uh, have fun. Thank you.